Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to go over the Image Stack Processing Module on Adviso. So the Image Stack Processing Module allows you to create a workflow using just a single slice of a data set, and then apply that workflow on the rest of the data set. This allows you to very quickly iterate on your ideas. So instead of running each filter or each operation on the entire data set at once, you can just run it on a single slice. And then the Image Stack Processing Workflow will then allow you to run it on the rest of the data set once you're satisfied with the result. This makes it much faster and more convenient to try new things. All right, so to start out, we're gonna click Open Data. And we're going to go to Images, and then Foam, and we're gonna open Foam. Just like that. So now that we've opened Foam, we're gonna create an Image Stack Processing module. So we're gonna type in Image Stack Processing, and there we go. All right. So to create the workflow, we select the image stack processing module and click create workflow, just like that. This opens the image stack processing workroom. So to start out, I'm first just going to add a median filter in. I want to search median filter and click enter, just like so. All right. So first thing I want you to notice is now there's a median filter in our workflow window. So the first thing is it does is it loads the image in with this reference step, and then it applies a median filter to it. The next thing I want you to notice is up in this view tab. You can see up here how this view is the step input and this view is the step output. So now we have the step input be the original image because that's the input to this step. And the step output is the original image with a median filter applied to it. So you can change this to be the step output, the workflow output, or the inputs too. So now that we have the median filter in, to change the different parameters of the median filter, you can do it really easily by just changing the iterations right here. So if we change it to five iterations, it only takes a second to recalculate because we're only processing it on one slice instead of many slices. But for our purposes, we're just going to keep it at three. All right, so now that we've applied the median filter, I next want to apply an auto thresholding filter. So the goal of this thresholding is I only want to select the material and not the pores in this data set. So with this auto thresholding operation, we can see how now only the material is selected and all the pores are not selected. Next, I want to go over this label blending part right here. This label blending slider allows you to overlay this auto thresholding output with the grayscale output. So if I move this more towards the right, it just shows the grayscale output. And if we move it more to the left, it just shows the auto thresholding output. So one thing that's really nice about the image stack processing workroom is when you zoom in on one image, it zooms in on both images. And when you move one image around, it also moves the other image around. This allows you to easily compare how something would look in the step input to how it turned out in the step output. So next, let's say you wanted to delete a step. So to delete a step, you just click this trash can button right here. One thing to note though, is if you delete a step that is a required input for the next step, let's say one of your steps requires a binary input and you delete the auto thresholding step, Avisa will give you a warning and ask you to fix it. So you will have a valid workflow. The last thing I wanna go over is what is exported from the workflow. So this box right here, you can click it on or off, and it allows you to choose what steps you want to export from the workflow. So right now, we've only, we only export the last step. But if we wanted to export the median filter step two, we could do that by just clicking here. But for our purposes, we're just going to leave it as is. All right, so we're going to save this workflow. And I'm just going to save it as recipe in a folder, just like that. And I'm going to click close just like so. So now we have our workflow in our file name right here, and we can just click apply, and it will apply the workflow to the foam data set. And we can see the output foam.process, and if we use an ortho slice to view the data set, we can see, just like that, we can see that it outputted the thresholded version of our data set, which is exactly what we wanted. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.